Hello. My screen... My welcome screen is now complete. And I'm just gonna keep adding random bullshit. It is so perfect. Every single time I play a new game, a new friend will be added to the screen. So we have me as the cheese. We have Lizard Squad from Minecraft. Harry from... <laughs> Fair... <laughs> Scary Godmother. <laughs> we have Harry from Scary Godmother. For The Sims. Why? I will not dignify that with an answer. Um... We have... Doc Scratch for the game we're playing today. We have the three from Eve in this little corner. We have gay, just for in general, any homo sec- I was about to say homophobic. Homosexual games we play. Um, Cat for Stray. And Isaac for <laughs> Binding of Isaac. <laughs> and it's just gonna get worse as time progresses. I don't know if I'm a mad genius or just a fucking idiot. Either or. It's funny. Ah, wait. <laughs> For a second, my cur- I got so confused by my cursor. Um. Huh? Shut the fuck up. I got so confused because my cursor, like, jumped in size because of the game. Um. Yes. We're playing Friend Sim 2 because Volume 4 came out, like, last week. And I didn't pay attention to Steam. I'm pouring myself more soda. I cleaned my room today. And then went to do bottle deposits. Got thirty dollars. Ate food and then went to a family friend's house and talked about a vacation. They taught my parent my my mother I was with my mother all day. Um, my mother and a family friend they talk about their weekend and I'm not joining them. They're going to Boston for the weekend. Why? I don't fucking know. I think they're just gonna go off to Boston. They're fucking off to Boston. Um. So yeah. Game time. Ah! Why is that like that? Why did you do that? Weird. Anyways, we're going to load the game. Alright, where I saved it last. Which is here. Blah blah blah. Continue to the next volume. Okay, here are the warnings. Drug use. Depictions of drug use. Depiction and discussion of state slash institutional violence. Depiction and discussion of death. Depiction of blood. Depiction of torture. And route has action sequences. <laughs> You and Marcy walk together in hollow silence. Alternia and its two moons fill the night sky, oppressively close. Their light paint their light paints the false desert in strange colors, and the air around you has an unnatural stillness. To you must have been walking for hours now. Your little legs struggle to keep up in the shifting sands. 
and a burning sensation grows in your chest. Her mechanical pace is a reminder of how just how long you've gone without saying anything. But what is there to say? Trizza said something. What the fuck did Trizza say? Oh yeah, I um Oh, yeah. There's an alert. Cool. Yeah, I played through um Act three again. And I got the secret ending. For rat out uh, route three. Which is um if you stay instead of leaving when some uh, the violet blood is coming in to the to the barracks. If you don't leave, they'll just be like, you should have left, and then they kill you. Like, let me just show you the story beats. Yeah, I got this one too. You chose to reveal Tizia's involvement with the rebels to Gallic during the trial, but why? And then, you died at the hands of a mysterious violet blood. And it's called foreshadowing. So, I, I want to know who this is, and I'm still waiting for this one. Because I'm going to do it. I'm going to only do this one because the way you do it is um, in the options and you press that button. Uh, oh wait, no, no, no. Maybe you should apologize. It's not like you're directly responsible, but it's hard to be directly responsible for anything in sufficiently chaotic circumstances like this. On the other hand, you're almost grateful for the silence. You're still trying to shake those old images out of your mind. You're not even sure that she's mad at you. It's hard to tell from just the back of her head, which is all you've seen of her since setting off out on your mission. But if you had to guess in her shoes, yeah, you would probably be pretty mad too. Distracting you from your con from the conundrums and camaraderies. Com camaraderie is the reemerging thought that you really have been out here for a long time. Is it just you, or is the air getting hotter? Relax. We shouldn't be too far now. Maristy. Yeah, not too far from potential certain death. Maristy seems remarkably calm. You wish you understood her. You're just hoping for rebels. You're just hoping for rebels. Or anybody who won't shoot you or Marsty. Actually, I think anyone who won't shoot you. A large sand dune lies ahead. Piles of it billowing over your, uh, your feet as you two climb. On the other side. Well, shit. Well, shit is right. The signal tower cuts an imposing black shape out of the stars. Even the night sky seems bright by comparison. What is this place? It looks a bit, well, theatric. That's a nice way to say garish as hell. You weren't meaning to be rude. You weren't meaning to be polite either. But she has a point. As for what it is, definitely Empire. But that's all I can say for sure. There's a lot going on around here they don't tell us about. Mm -mm. That's the sun slowly coming up. That clears up. Wait, it actually is moving. Is it moving? Is it like actually getting brighter? weird that sir that clears up that clears things up by opening them to a lot of horrible possibilities marcy frowns at you but she's almost always frowning so that's to say why do we keep feeling like something's crawling on me weird um so that's to say marcy makes her normal facial expressions at you you get how she feels. This doesn't look good. Where do you two, where do the two of you go from here? 
An ominous feeling curls in your belly. You feel like a rat in a trap. You a rat in a cage? By smashing pumpkins. Is it by smashing pumpkins? Despite all my rage, I am still just a rat in a cage. Uh what is it? I completely forgot what the name of the song is, like bullet. <laughs> I can't fucking type. Uh, smashing pumpkins. Bullet, bullet with butterfly wings. Yeah. Despite all my rage, I am still just a rat in a cage. Despite all my rage. Yeah. Alt metal. Want the lyrics? Want the lyrics? Despite all my rage, I am still just a rat in a cage. Someone will say what is lost can ne never be said. The world is a vampire. <laughs> it. I can't believe I actually remembered. <laughs> I remembered some bits. Do you feel like you're just a rat in a cage? Despite all the rage? The sun creeps closer to you on the horizon. Closer to the horizon. The two of you will fry if you stay put. But if you head towards the building, it's almost certain you'll be spotted and caught. <coughs> it's a real no-win situation. In time is running out. At Marcy's expression, you realize you're not helping. Her bottom lip bleh, her bottom lip tucks into her teeth while sh her eyes trace the horizon. She looks tired. <sighs> didn't your Lucis tell you it's rude to stare? Shit, you didn't mean to. It's fine. We'll try following the power lines. Maybe one of them leads to a transformer or a maintenance tunnel. You're going over the metrics and demetric. Oh, merits and demerits of the plan. I thought it said metrics. De merits and, de and demerits of the plan when suddenly there's a noise behind you that sounds suspiciously like a hatch opening. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. It's C Vara. It's C Vara. It's C Vara. It's the influencer. It's the influencer. Look at him! Look at the influencer mustard blood. That's because it is a hatch opening. You and Marcy spin around in f and in front of you, their backs spin around in front of you, their back to the brightening skyline appears. Oh, their backs to the brightening skyline appears a stranger in a brown cloak, and they have a shotgun that looks like a water gun. What the fuck? Th that literally looks like a water gun. Our are Alternian weapons just modded out water guns? Alternian weaponry, weaponry is just modded the shit out water guns. Imagine a pump action- there- that exists! There is a pump action water gun. That is a real thing. Um, both of you immediately put your hands in the air. Marcy taking a few steps back. Now the sweat on your brow is from the... Sh now the sweat on your brow is from the sheer tension of the impromptu standoff. Good instincts. Ah! Alright, nobody move. Oh my... Savara's British. This is the worst timeline. I don't even remember what voice I gave Savara. I thought I gave him like gamer bro. I gave I, I think I gave him gamer bro, but like laid back gamer bro. Why is he British? If you cooperate, I won't put a bunch of new holes in your face. 
sound like? That sounds like a deeper green. <laughs> green Minecraft, but deeper. Probably. Keep speaking. Keep speaking. Or it's the guy who does Broadway stuck for Jake English. Like, I'm English. Bullshit. You definitely, definitely weren't intending to move. No, sorry. Marsty seems to feel indifferently, though. You see her inching away from the corner of your eye. Can't think. Brain blast. You can get the two of you out of this if you just keep your cool. <laughs> yes. Make a bunch. I want to make a bunch of movements. Hold on. <laughs> make a bunch of loud. You've had to. You've had it with deadly things happening to you. It's time to step up and be a hero. To distract this weird. It's Sivara. It is just Sivara. To distract this weirdo from Mar. I bet this was the right answer. I just have a typical feeling that that was the right answer. Um, to distract this weirdo, aka Savara, um, you start yelling incoherently and waving your arms like an alien gone mad. Which you are, you guess. If nothing else, maybe she'll make a run for it. Maybe you could buy her some time. Dang it! Oh no! I died! <laughs> Who would have thought? It feels like getting pushed over at first. Then you're on your back, looking up at the sky as it goes dark. Hey, wasn't the sun supposed to be rising? Wasting. <laughs> That's funny. Wasting. The council will see you now. That was a good... Hello? <laughs> what the fuck was that? Did you mix up shotguns and bear with bear attacks? <laughs> Did you mix up shotguns and bear attacks? You decide to stay calm and see how this plays out, or you're just too tired from all the long the from the long hike over here to pull off the, the, any action hero maneuvers. You're not so you're not sure you could run away now if you tried. Who sent you, huh? Knew someday they'd figure it out. Wait. Holy shit, it's you. It's just Savara with a weirdly extre extremely chiseled chin. Chiseled chin. Chiseled chin. I almost said jizzled chin. <laughs> I almost said jizzled chin. <laughs> what are you doing here, Lamal? <laughs> I forgot. I forgot. It is Gamer Bro. <laughs> he is an influencer. <laughs> Wait a minute. See Rava? <laughs> Holy shit, it is them! Oh, I almost turned off my headphones. Suddenly, you have so many questions. What are they doing out here in the middle of nowhere? Why were they going to shoot you? Why is that gun so colorful? Why are they dressed like Obi-Wan Kenobi? <laughs> Rava smiles. Ah, there she goes. <laughs> you should really like not be outside. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> you obviously know that. You're about to start telling your newfound old found friend about your wild and wacky adventures and the strange circumstance that have brought you here. When Marsty lunges with a wrench, you hadn't seen her slip out of her bag. Oh shit. <laughs> I love Sirava so fucking much. Sirava is so, such a good character. I wish there were just a game. Sirava and Malik. That's it. That's all I need in my life. Sirava and Malik. I, I love those two characters to the fucking moon and back. I will die for those two characters to be real. Oh shit! <laughs> Sarava falls face first into the dust. 
and sand, kicking up a little plume around their body. Oh, fuck. Wow. What the hell, Marcy? Let's talk it over before we wrench people, please. Did you somehow miss the part where they were going to shoot us? No, but you promised they had a good reason for the shotgun threats. Probably. Sarava's a friend! Almost certainly not an Imperial goon. There, you're a very unconscious friend now. At least you hope they're only unconscious. There's a tiny bit of mustard yellow on the jaw of their hover wrench. I didn't kill them. Trolls are hardier than that. You hope she's right. The sun is almost above the horizon now. You finally notice the hatch that's opened a few meters away, lifting off the crest of the sand dune like a friendly wave. It's our only shot now. Let's get them down there. Swallowing your nerves, you help her scoop up Sarava off the ground and carry them awkwardly down into the small cramp structure below. You and Marcy... Ah! <laughs> air into lungs not stuck in throat hello it is hot especially for my basement um <laughs> reading you and marcy find yourself in a small access hallway that ends in the ladder to the hatch above the air is stale and dusty and the walls are corroded to a sticky yellow, a sickly yellow green. This must be one of the utility bunkers. I wonder if it still connects to the water main. You're a little more worried about Sarava. They're definitely still breathing, at least. There's only one door leading from the hallway and it opens to a room, alive. With the sound of computer of computer fans and humming electronics, you and Marcy step inside. <laughs> Typical streamer. His fucking Elgato stream deck, but camera. No, that's the stream deck. That's a mixer. Uh, key cool ass keyboard. Fucking controller. Microphone. Two monitor setup. Fucking lights, a couch, sound, <laughs> soundproofing. <laughs> this is gamer bunker. Wait, what's um? Hold on, hold on, hold on. What's the help? Uh, keyboard. Uh, H. Okay. <laughs> Let's look at this. We have app. Fuck. We have apple juice, a soda, another soda. I have no idea. Buckets? Buckets? A spittoon? I have no idea what this is. <laughs> is that just like a speaker? <laughs> a broken bottle. And you're suddenly assaulted by a wave of colors and graphics and LEDs. Imposing on the decrepit metal room like an aggressive photo filter. Overhead, tinted spotlights shine down in pinks and greens that almost wash the yellow dinge out of the walls and furniture. Almost. What the hell? Marcy's expression reads skepticism. But you said something beneath her surprise. Maybe. Interest? She notices you noticing. It's filthy in here. That's what gamers do. <laughs> That's what gamers do best. Right, you almost forgot which troll you were with. For the moment, you don't question her <laughs> weird priorities. You and Marcy put Sarava on the couch. Well, you put Sarava on the couch. Marcy starts looking around for something, you guess. Whatever she's looking for, she has to thumb through a lot of trash and empty noodle cups. That's what they are. To not find it. You hadn't noticed it at first due to the sheer aesthetic making war on your eyeballs. But Marcy is right. 
everywhere below desk level in this place is a bit of a dump. While you're judging their living space, Surava returns to wakefulness with a groan. Ow. Ow, ow, ow. Normal. What the fuck? <laughs> what in the rad? <laughs> I'm having one of these, um, Hello Panda chocolate treats by Meiji. Sarava! <laughs> I love you! She don't, but I do. You're so glad they're okay. Beneath, between your frenetic apologies, you swear up and down that the encounter upstairs was a misunderstanding. You have a bunch of other things you want to talk about all at once, and it's quite possible you attempt too many of them at the same time for a person with a head injury to keep up with. She actually hit me. With a wrench. You look at Marsty. She gives a shrug and awkwardly looks to the side. Sarava grabs a towel, towel from a nearby milk crate to press their injury. Listen, I'm not the one that aimed the gun at me. The alien says you're alright, so it won't happen again. The alien, you're a whore. I only did what I had to do. The Empire could find this place any day. Oh, that's right. They're a mustard blood. They're used for their psionic powers as, like, weapons of mass destruction. I forgot about that plot point in Alternian history. So I gotta be on my toes. It's cool, though. Never been knocked unconscious before, for Mal. In the craziness that... In the craziness, you're forgetting something. All right! Introductions. Marsty, this is so Moisture wave. Nah, that stuff's old news. You whore, I was reading. I've moved on to the future of branded curative music streaming. We're in the era of grits pop now, baby. He is a man. I mean, sorry. This guy. Surava is a type of person who would do the finger snap guns. Not just finger guns, snap guns. I do them all the time. They're also stuck in the fucking 80s. Like, you look at them. Look at them. They look... <laughs> they... What the fuck, man? I love Sarava so much. Going by Sarava's decor, can't tell what the difference is. But hey, you're probably just out of touch with the young people. <laughs> with what the young people are into these days. There have been an indeterminate amount of years of time travel involved, after all. What the hell are you talking about? Don't worry, they say insane shit like that all the time, Lamel. I try to ignore it. No, I mean, what are you talking about? Music streaming in an abandoned Imperial bunker on a training satellite. What's going on down here? <laughs> They're the person behind lo-fi beats to study to 24-7 stream. They're behind that cannon. Okay, I know how it looks, but there's a perfectly satisfying explanation. Yeah, satisfying. Well? I'm satisfied this just by being in your presence, Sarava. Well. Okay, I thought about it for a second. It's actually, like, not very satisfying at all. I said what I said, though. Unless you guys are cool, Lamel. We're definitely cool, you say. Try us! It's not as if your story of getting at here, getting here is any less absurd than others you could prob you could possibly be. Well, that's a good point. Anyway, on the internet, I'm just your everyday average, moderately famous, humble, grits pop, curative streamer. 
What nobody knows is how the rebels smuggled me down here about a sweep ago. You two saw the signal tower out there, right? Yes, you definitely saw it. It has certain intense seeabilityness to it. Isn't it dangerous to be so close? <laughs> That's the point. I'm jacked into their system right under their noses. Piggybacking off their signal and stealing intel for the cause. Sending a message while we send a message, if you get me. So that relay was you. I get it. The grits pop is a front. What the hell? No, it's not. Fuck no. That's real. Everything, everything he does is full stop. The grits pop is the beat pump and soul of my whole entire operation. It's like my whole life's work. Don't insult me like that. Marcy, get out. <laughs> Marcy's, no, Marcy's a bad. Marcy looks unsure. With your keen senses, you detect a distinct lack of friendship happening in this room. That's plainly unacceptable. You're very sure it would improve things to have your two friends be friends with each other. That's what men do in relationships. Straight men. This is a common thing on the internet. Straight men who have a girlfriend and friends who are girls try to set up his girlfriend and friends that are girls to be friends. And guess what? It never works. That is what's happening. <laughs> that is exactly what is happening. Even though Malik is 100% husband, Sarava is a very, very close second, like a half a point away. Half a point away. The only reason why they're a half a point away is because they showed up too late. I already saw Malik. I saw Malik two chapters ago. Where were you in this time? Um, if it's a good, if it's as good as they say, it's surely seeing it is believing. Or you guess hearing is believing. Whichever. <laughs> Lol, now you're talking. Let me wake up Casper and show you guys the business. Casper comes to life when Sarava jiggles the mouse and a bright desktop background covered in distorted troll anime girls greet you with an array of sickly sweet colors and des densely layered imagery. Gamer boy! Sarava opens the web browser and loads up GrubTube's channel homepage. The thumbnails, titles, and header all match the rest of, their br of the branding, which is to say they are as loud and infectious as possible. They're so much going on you have almost no room to think and considering all the unpleasant things you would otherwise you would otherwise be thinking about today this isn't so bad all right let's hear hello it. what the fuck just fell oh my fan my fan just fell like it slid down give me your appraisal what's your take on the new brand What's your take? You, 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 I love it. I love it. I really? love it. I love it. I You're love it. You're not just it. saying that, right? Not, not at all. Not at yourself into my good graces. And not at all. I love you. Crowd. Not at all. I love you. You're the second. You're my second spouse. No. Whatever that means. You really like it. It has a lot of energy. Like a lot of energy. In a word, it is energizing. Like a <laughs> bunny. I knew you would get it. You and me are like... Also, what's funny is that their symbol is a hashtag. A very curved hashtag. Like, look. It's... I love that so much. Totally on the same wavelength. I love how down for shit you are all the time. It's so refreshing. 
Everybody else is always trying too hard to look above it all, you know? Yes. Which I guess is my way of saying I missed you. <laughs> anyway. I'm gonna go feral. <laughs> I will go fucking feral. Glad you can appreciate what I'm doing out here. Yes. So you're a musician. Get out. Marsty, get the fuck out. I'm no, sorry. Lumel. I don't produce anymore. I just stream the best stuff and do reviews of new albums. And curate playlists. So you're like a DJ? No. I don't <laughs> do remixes no. or sets. I'm just like... I like how the voice actor says, no. Just, no. That was so cute. What the fuck? A music influencer. There he goes again. That's a thing. Yeah. Unfortunately. I also cover news, play games, and podcasts sometimes, you know? Keeping up a multifaceted brand is what it takes these days. I love you so much. And the rebellion is behind this. Well, yeah. Brits pop is an inherently progressive genre. It's hyper pop. It's subtle, but the anti imperialist messaging is there. The Tsarov, by which I mean the Grits pop community. Support and connect sympathetic content creators who are critical of the Empire. Normalize insurrection through memes. <laughs> Taking a screenshot of that, because that's too real. That's too real. Shit like that. Take a look for yourself. You and Marcy follow their lead, standing shoulder to shoulder to look at their screen. Between the streams and vlogs, Sofa Skog reviews of already famous mid blood musicians and podcasters. You recognize a complete big name from you, a couple big names from Chitter. I don't get it. You look like any other channel on GrubTube. Duh, obviously. That's We're the playing point. the long game here. You see, if you want to influence people, you want to make them feel comfortable first. Not everybody's ready to jump into something like Revolution right away. Point. You gotta win them over. Like the right things and wear the right clothes. They gotta wanna be you. Nobody wants to be some weak and bitter loser that got fucked over by the Empire, even though that's what we all are. So you gotta be cool first. Point! You gotta be relatable yet unobtainable at the same time. Then they'll listen to whatever you tell them. <laughs> that's the power of the aesthetic. They have a fucking jewel. I'm going to kill. I think that's what that's supposed to represent. Strava sits in their colorful gamer chair, swiveling it to face you. The dramatic effect is a little undercut uh, by how their foot topples an entire water bottle. But enough about me. How did you guys even get here? And what's we up with walked. you? We walked. I haven't seen you for, like, sweeps. Now you show up out of nowhere in my super illegal space hideout? What gives? Well, that's a great question. Marsty moves his shit on the couch while you jump in a complete recollection of your adventure so far. It's not until you actually have to describe it to someone that the scope of what you've been getting yourself into starts to dawn on you. Sarava, Sirava, and Marsty listen with gradually widening eyes. You tell them about the tense courtroom drama, the mysterious airlock murder, unraveling the secrets of a friend's ancestor, sensitive information redacted, of course, uh, your darling heist, your daring heist of a Lucius training program. And then you, you stop for a moment before you tell Sarava about what happened with the control tower. Out of your corner of your eye, you see Marcy flinch. Your own stomach churns in guilt. That was you guys? The signal towers and Chitta have been lit the fuck up since last night. 
It's a real mess. And it all happened right under an officer's nose. Yeah. So the Empire's royally pissed. Oh yeah, in my um replay of chapter three, I talked to Ardata. Instead of going with um Kanyol to the air for air bit air the airfield or whatever. Um, I went with Skyla and you talked to Ardata there. That part I miss. Well, like imperially pissed or whatever her mouth. It's not funny. It isn't. A lot of people I knew are dead. None of us liked the Empire. Fucking con. Sorry. I've seen a lot of people get hurt. Rebellion's dangerous. You laugh or you cry, you know? I'm not in the Rebellion. You sure about that? Because you certainly are a fugitive hiding from the Empire with an alien in a rebel hideout. Circumstantial. I'm just trying to help somebody. That's all. Hmm. That's cool. Not really any of my business whether you're rebellion or not. As long as you're not about to betray me to the imps. No way. Definitely not. No friends of the Empire here. You just need a place to crash for the day. Make a plan for for whatever comes next, you guess. Sir Robert gestures grandly to the entirety of the small square room. My hive is your hive. Make yourselves at home. Thanks. Sarava, was it? Hermon. Sarava Hermon. Marsty Hutek. And I'm so, MSPA um, reader. <laughs> tell people about what happened on your podcast? <laughs> God, no. Are you kidding me? I can't cover that. It's way too hot. Shit like this is pure brand kryptonite. I'll get mega cancelled no matter what I fucking say. What's the big deal? Everyone already knows about it. You said so yourself. Yeah, but the Empire's already set the spin. As far as they're concerned, the rebels just killed a bunch of random unsuspecting trolls with no warning or provocation. Excuse me? What's the problem with that? It's what really happened. I know how it sounds, alright? But the revolution has enough working against it as it is. Morale is hard enough to come by without making people confront this shit. So they just get away with it. Just because you're fighting the Empire, you can do whatever you want? No. Who the fuck said that? I'm not a fan of it, alright? But it's war. And shit happens. Innocent people dying was always on the table. I'd have to be super fucking naive not to have known that. I find it really obnoxious that you're explaining death to me. Wow, things are getting a little adversarial in here. You tried to tell Marsty that, what the fuck? What, oh, okay. You oh, don't whoops. get to tell me anything. You're not even from here. Youch! <laughs> Sirava shrugs. It's one thing to have my own opinion, okay? It's another thing to explain it to a chap full of bloodthirsty numers who want easy answers. Numers? What the fuck? They have their own brand of boomer. They can't accept that being the good guys won't always mean being the good guys. Then who holds you accountable? What makes your revolution any different when it's always people like me that die first? Or you sit in your fucking bunker and play video games and suck up to rich people. That is... Oh, this is... This is what, in the literary world, would call situational irony. Because <laughs> that's all what Twitch streaming is. <laughs> I want that clip. This line and me saying, that is what we call in the ins literary world, situational irony. <laughs> hey now, 
You're an all-star. No, this is bullshit. It's disgusting you think you're accomplishing anything down here. We all have problems. Don't take your shit out on me. <laughs> I just thought of something funny. I'm not saying it. Arsty stands there. Re eyes red and breath heavy. Knees weak, arms spaghetti. <laughs> In a sudden lurch, he topples one of the emptier desks next to Sarava's setup. You both jump. Trash and treasure alike go scattering to the floor. And she leaves into the access hall to get some space. Well, that happened. Sarava sits, looking at the objects strewn around the ground. You rush to help clean up, but you're having trouble discerning what was supposed to be on the floor in the first place. Oh, there's chitter updates. Sarava! Unapologetic swag. Who the fuck is unapologetic swag? Who is unapologetic swag? Tetrarch. Tetrarch. Five cycles ago, Jesus. Ah! Wait! <laughs> You want in on the SMP? It's gonna be hot shit. God damn, Minecraft YouTuber, what? Um. Take out the other eye. Fuck. I love this person. I love them so much. My ah oh, fuck that, fuck uh, cringy goth. Who else is a rust blood? I can't remember. Mm, ba 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 ba. Groovy acerbic. Uh, groovy acerbic. Streep streeps for sweeps. Gaty nun. Nonity. Oh wait, Gaty Nonity. Ew. Oh, ew. Bagel House is old news. <laughs> Disaster lesbian. <laughs> That's a good username. Unapologetic swag. Who is that? I need to find out. I need to find out. L word is selling up hers. Malik is snake bites. Love Malik. <laughs> Ramel is dead. Ardata. Beep, 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 beep. I love Sarava. I love Sarava so fucking much. It's like, it's a lot like how your day is going. Just a bunch of shit you thought mattered 
jumbled together like go with garbage on the bunker floor of life. You stop introspecting for long enough to apologize to Sarava for the death, though you're hesitant to criticize Marcy's feelings. She's been through a lot, you explain to them. Please don't be mad at her. It's no biggie, seriously. I hear worse from my followers, like, every day of my life. Wow. Thank you, Sarava, for being understanding. But you also doubt any of their fans have ever overturned, overturned their furniture or hit them over the head with a wrench. You have a point, lol. But trust me, shit is brutal. You don't know what it's like out there, being the planet's third most popular Gritspop streamer. Who's the first and who's the second? Who do I have to kill? Moderating a Discord with literally... Discord. <laughs> Dozens of people in it. Here's a very niche, niche, niche topic. Quackity with the largest Discord server getting banned by furries. That's exactly what I just thought of when he said that. Live streams with, like... 20 to 30 regulars. Sometimes I wonder if it's all worth it, you know? The things I go through. Oh. <laughs> Is 30 a lot? Sarama makes a face at you. It's not about the numbers, it's about the vibes. Correct. Let me tell you, the vibes are bordering apocalyptic. You can't imagine the scrutiny I'm under with nearly 7,000 followers on Chitta. Valid. But you know what they say. The crown is heavy. The crown actually sounds fine. Featherweight even? Compared to, well, yesterday. Poor Marcy. It's entirely possible your recent experience have raised the bar for heavy. That's alright. People just don't get why this stuff is a big deal to me. I'm used to it. No! I understand. I understand. That's not exactly what you meant. We have a feeling that Sarava's just isn't hearing you. Whatever. It's not really important that you get every single troll you meet completely on board with your conflicted and admittedly nascent worldview. It's important to take people as they are. After all, you did sort of arrive unexpectedly in their house, bunker room. Oh shit, where are my manners? Let me give you the grand tour. Sarava stands up, still, for a few unbroken seconds. So this is basically it. <laughs> In this corner, I do all my streaming and editing. And eating. Most of the stuff I do, actually, for now. In this corner, I sleep. And in that corner is where I battle my crippling self-doubt. Me too. Interesting. You take a moment to seriously appraise the mental breakdown corner. Take another picture. <laughs> it looks like a good place for as any. Good a place as any. You might make use of the facilities later if there's no trouble. Knock yourself out, Lamel. Not literally, please. <laughs> What about the fourth corner? We don't speak of what happens in the fourth corner. Guys, I think it's the J.O. corner. Anyways! But yeah, that's the place I've been spending the last week. 
Hive, sweet hive. I want more of these cookies! Crackers. Treats. I don't know. That's right, they said they came here a sweep ago. Jeez, without ever, never, ever going outside or seeing another troll? Yep. Me. At age five, six, seven. Four, three, two, one. You and that musty lady are my first visitors, like, ever. <laughs> Technically, you shouldn't even be here, <laughs> Mal. It's, like, super hazardous to your health. Sounds horribly lonely and depressing and sad. To be honest, it's basically the same as I was living before. So, yeah, Mal. But it beats a culling fork. Beats a culling fork! Besides, what were my options? Even if I'm stuck streaming Planet Side to a bunch of voracious pre malts, I gotta keep doing what I love. Instead of getting shipped off to some crappy gold blood gig in the fleet. So, I can't complain. You'd argue that they absolutely could complain, but they just shrug their shoulders, and you really don't like to disagree or judge. After all, it's like Marsty said, you're not even from here. Not only that, but you haven't been here for sweeps. You missed out on so much. Clearly, you have so many questions that you don't really know where to begin. You really did just, like disappear. But shoot, ask whatever you want. I'm an open glyphrium. What the fuck? I have to search up that word. I've never heard that word in my life. Glyphrium. Is that how it's spelled? They made up an entire word. What the fuck? I got a fish. What the fuck? What is this? Mr. Shoe! What? <laughs> yeah! It's gonna be Shoe again. No, we got another fish! What the fuck? Yeah, it's spelled. Oh, wait. Ah! I love Google. Google is my best friend. I, no, when I was younger, like, I want to say like 16, 17, maybe 15, I was like, I want to work for Google. And then I looked it up to see what you need. And you need to be really smart. <laughs> I am not that. But that's so cool. But also, what the fuck is a gif room? Glyphrine. Is that supposed to be like a book? It's supposed to be a book, but what the fuck? They literally made up a word and it has no nothing. Oh, I'm not clicking on here. Uh, how, did, how did you get involved with the kinda rebels? Kind of hard to believe, isn't it? For a long time, I didn't want to take any more risks, but then something funny happened. There was this regular in my stream who seemed pretty chill. I looked up his profile and he and I got to talking. It was Malik. Please. Normally I wouldn't have done something like that, especially not high blood. 
It is Malik. Uh, <laughs> he like had a good vibe. Did me some solid favors. He had all these ideas about resisting the Empire, hacking into drones, really causing some ruckus. My two favorite fucking trolls. Said he had this friend who showed up and inspired him. Hey, that's me. He's t Malik was talking about me. I was like, no shit, you two. Wait, do they mean? Yep. Recognize the sign on your hoodie. It was Malik. I love this. Malik, you're always hyped to get more backstory on your hacker friend. It looks like he's really managed to get some traction off the whole revolution thing. So, yeah. One thing led to another. Now I'm running transmissions for some crew of like-minded renegades I've barely even met. But we're tight as hell. Guess we both got you to thank. You kind of seriously changed my life, to be honest. Why the new look? Things change with the times, my dude. You gotta ride the wave or get swept under. Well, yeah, you get that. But they used to say the influencers were the one who that set the trends. What's wrong with my clothes? Nothing. You think I wouldn't dress like this if it wasn't to do numbers on Greek talk? I'm I'm finished. I'm finished. You're now a point away from top tier. You're a whole point away from top tier. Can't believe you really think I'm that shallow. Rude, TBH. No! No, I didn't mean it that way. You would never accuse your dear friend Saram of doing inauthentic things online to get a reaction out of people. Perish the thought. <laughs> Val, you've got so much more bitchy over the years. Bruh. But it's cool. Actual br gamer bruh moment. I think it suits you, kind of. Gives you an edge. Thanks? Yeah, you're going with the thanks. What's grits, Pa? Like I said, Moisture Wave's dead. Long live Moisture Wave. Long, oh seven. They have to say oh seven for this to be authentic. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but why grits pop specifically? You're asking what Sarava likes about it. It's like scratching an itch in your pan. Pan means brain. The chaos really embodies how it feels, you know? It's literally- they're talking about hyperpop. That's the close relative how what feels. <laughs> the mouth. Everything. About the relay. You asked Sarava a little more about the relay that Marcy picked up. Is that the sort of thing they're doing out here? You bet. That last list was a big group of trolls. The Empire disappeared recently. Some jobs. They pull you off your socials and nobody knows if you lived or died. Ooh. Basically, those are who's left after we confirmed aliveance on the others. Sent it out to see if any folks know where they are. So the rebel has haven't found anyone on that list? Sadly. Could Sarava penetrate any deeper? Into the Empire system, maybe? Try to get more info? What's with the stereotypes, info? I'm not a hacker. I just run the comms. Sorry. You meant, could the rebels have found out any more? Sorry, pal. That's all we got. For a moment, Sarava looks suddenly serious. Hey, so while we're talking, I mean, I don't want to get into your business or anything, but let's talk about your friend for a sec. Marcy? Respectfully, you hope this isn't some sort of brand lecture or advice about internet popularity. What? No. I'm not seven anymore. Give me some credit. Is she, like, alright, Lamau? Marcy? You hope so. <laughs> That's just what you were worried about. You can't seem to get your mind off of Keep it. Keep your voice down. I mean, like, is she keeping it together? I guess she was pretty angry. She fucking snapped, Lamal. It happens. Goddamn, the British accent is just throwing me off slightly because before this, I was lis just listening to Oni plays because that—that's just what I do. I listen to Oni plays when I sleep, 
That's what I already play, is just to have audio. And I was listening to... They were making jokes during uh, Slightly Artistic. And I forget the other guy's name. But he just said, My British Todd. <laughs> and every single fucking time this bitch is speaking, it just... I just get that in, get that line in my brain. <laughs> it is just such a funny line. All trials get like that sometimes, not just high bloods. It's just that the lower castes like us aren't encouraged to throw our weight around. Point. <laughs> and high bloods are stereotyped as always going off their shit. Correct. You know what they say. Life mimics art. Cheers to that, mate. You really wouldn't know what they say. You guess that's part of the whole problem here. So, like, at the risk of coming off as, like, nosy as fuck, she's clearly running herself ragged. Coming out here in the first place was already desperate and stupid, so, like... What the fuck is up with that? In retrospect, you agree. But you try to explain Marcy is just like that. There's nothing you can do once she's made up her mind. That's obnoxious. Real inconsiderate to her friend she's lugging around. Maybe she should, like, cut that out. Or get a moirail or something. Mal. Oh, are they suggesting... What? <laughs> oh, no, 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 not me. Haha. <laughs> I couldn't moirail Bitch. a hive plant, Lamau. Just speaking generally. Wow, you have no idea where to start on that front. You don't think Marsty has any quadrants? You're not even sure she has a lot of friends. And the opportunities right now are a little slim. Not to mention she seems a little preoccupied. On top of all that, you would you wouldn't even say you and Marsty are super duper friendly right now or before or ever. You're more like a stubborn acquaintance who's attracted your attached to her to, who's attached yourself to her side. You totally lack the rapport to give her <laughs> that kind of counsel. You remember how well that w yeah. Excuse me. You remember how well that went the first time you met her. Not very. Sarava shrugs. Just take it as, like, friendly advice. Or oh, forget I said anything, Lamal. That's probably even better. Oh, sure. You will add it to the pile of things you're trying to forget. With any luck, you will forget about the daunting size of the pile first. Say, how about yes. you and I cook up some magic while we're waiting for your friend to calm down? Hell yes. Cook? Magic? You're pretty hungry, and you're now- <laughs> And you're now pretty certain you've always had an, an, an inexplicable fondness for wizards. They could count you in. Sick. I mean, I don't know about wizards. Best I can offer is some cut ramen and MREs. But I think you and I could whip up some really slick imagery. How about you help me make the thumbnail for my next video? Yes! Really? That's a lot of responsibility. It's their life work we're talking about here. I've only got one rule. Don't work with a head injury. That is valid. Come on, at Alien Invasion of One. You're my only hope. Ow, please tell me this is the action sequence. Please tell me this is the action sequence. Opening Photoshop and making a thumbnail. What the fuck am I looking at? <laughs> it's a lot. Oh my, oh my god. A lot. Jesus Christ. Wait, wait. Click on the clip part. Oh my god. <laughs> This, this is literally, that's 
literally from Homestuck. <laughs> Trizza, okay. <laughs> Wait. make this slightly smaller. Move it over. There we go! <laughs> this is so goddamn funny! This is so goddamn funny! Uh, make that smaller. Make it bigger. Raid Shadow Legends right there. That is Raid Sa Shadow Legends. That is literally Raid Shadow Legends. You can't tell me otherwise that this is just the <laughs> that's the logo for Raid Shadow Legends. I'm gonna make it really small and put it in the bottom corner. <laughs> this is so real. <laughs> this is so real. Yeah, little dude, that shit's looking <laughs> dope. <laughs> this is so funny. Sarah <laughs> laughs and gives you a thumbs up. Yeah, nice job. Yes. You want to go ahead and save this, or you want to try and make it even better? No, nope, th th this is. I'm really happy with this one. <laughs> While you were working, Sarah gives you a cup noodle hot and fresh from the microwave. Tucked in the unspeakable corner. He, oh. You slurp noisily while the master assesses the student's work. You're the student, it's you. <laughs> Sarava takes a long while, their thumb and finger resting on their chins, on their stubbly chin. What time is it? Yeah. What? Okay. No! It's nine o'clock. 
Probably takes a long while. Th oh, I already read that. You're hanging off the edge of your seat. Which right now is one of the milk crates you've pulled alongside their workstation. Fucking wow. You did it again. Hell this yes. is like Th this on is a the whole other level of stupid. Yes! Is that bad? Are you kidding me? It's perfect. I'm posting it to Chitter like instantly. Yes, please, please. They are gonna eat this up. You have no idea. Won't be able to give you the credsies though. You know how it is. With all the discourse going on. <laughs> you guys are not ready for this thumbnail. No, you get it. Besides, you didn't do it for the credit. You did it for the most important reward of it all. Mm. Friendship? It's friendship, right? Come on, please just tell me it's friendship. <laughs> what do you think it is? <laughs> holy sh- Oh, holy shit, this is the worst. The oh, wait, wrong one. Is it friendship? I cannot confirm or deny. <laughs> friendship. The reward is friendship. Dope. You log on to your own chitter so you can see Sarava's post and make sure to give it like a reach it. A like at a reach it. If that that's shit. You also take the opportunity to scroll through your timeline a little bit, continuing the friendship appreciating vibes as you browse a parade of familiar usernames. Oh shit, that reminds you. You almost forgot. I'm checking the chat one more time. I'm gonna get fucked. <laughs> you start to explain to Sarava the circumstances of your being here and what you can offer them a way off Alternia. A place where none of the threats of the Empire or the pressures that they or Marsty are experiencing will ever be a problem again. Then you remember Skyla and Kanyo, Stelsa and Tizius. Some people have reasons to say. You wonder what Sirava wants. Me? Damn, that's a tough question leave everything I work so hard for. The epic highs and lows of Grits Pop streaming. My Empire Beats and all the other rebels and Siravites counting on me. I mean, you could replicate that on Earth t Earth 2. 2. But also not have a death sentence hanging over my head. A somber look falls on Sarava's face. They bury their hands into their pockets. In the pockets of their corduroy trousers. <laughs> Fuck, this is written by British people! I'm gonna level with you. Normally, I wouldn't tell you this. Wouldn't show weakness and stuff. But between you and me, I know my days are numbered one way or another. I'm getting too old for the scene, you know? What do you mean? The writing's on the wall. I'm losing subscribers all the time. Maybe it's time to pass the metaphorical torch. What do you think I should do? Oh, fuck. Why is it up to me? Err! Err! I'm, I'm saving. I'm saving over this. I'm gonna say leave it all behind. You can see it in their friend, their tired eyes. They want out. Not just from the Empire, but from the perilous shackles of being the inter an internet micro-celebrity. They just want to have it in them. They just don't have it in them to do it on their own. Maybe even the negative attention validates their persecution, com persecution complex or gratifies their self-hatred. Or something like that. Internet is a hell of a drug. Don't worry, Surava. No troll on an island. No troll is an island. And you're building a raft. Or some version of that analogy that makes sense. I, I get where you're coming from, but... Just check your chat. 
It's hard to even imagine myself doing something else. This is literally the only shit that's ever made sense to me. The only shit I've been able to think mattered. That's not true at all, you tell them. There's something they're forgetting. Something that they've had for as long as they've known you. What are you talking about? Wait. Oh, God. If you say f French! <laughs> Wasserov is busy being unimpressed with you. Marcy returns to the front door. It almost takes you out of your euphoric stupor. Shut the fuck up! I love- never mind! I love you! A moment of awkward silence hangs between the three of you. Her anger seems drained out of her, and neither you or Sarava seem to know what to say. <sighs> Sorry for the desk. Nah, it's cool. It's not like you're wrong about me. Who the fuck am I to judge? I did hit you with a wrench. No worries. It's precipitation under the traverse and the planks. What? <laughs> truce? Yeah, truce. Sarava and Marcy, you shake on it. It's a chilly agreement. But you take it in. Mutual respect born from the nece from necessity is better than nothing. And right now it seems like all of these two can give progress. Hey, since we're friendly and all, we should celebrate. Sarava produces the weird bug vape pen. You remember from a cluttered corner of the computer desk. Oh shit, it might even be the same one. Consider it a peace offering. If you're up for it. A fucking hit of a vape. What the hey? You wouldn't mind a little chill out assistance for as long as the daylight traps you down in this bunker? You're game. I think I'll pass. Yes, be the sober one in a room of fuckers. Okay, but you might get kind of hotboxed. This room is, like, small and not well ventilated. Your mouth. It's fine. Cool. Let's get faded as hell. Is that the end of the chapter? Sarava so starts by dimming the lights. They clean the mouse mouthpiece with a paper towel and rubbing alcohol on the desk. Then they take a deep inhale without actually touching their lips to it. You hand the bu and hand you the bug. You follow their lead. It doesn't even weird you out this time. You hold it within you hold it in your chest for one heartbeat, two, then you let it back out in a cloudy spiral. Hey, you might actually be getting pretty good at this. Neato. And in no time, your all of your body is comfortable and distant. You soak in the colors and the shapes and nice and get nicely situated down on the bunker floor in a little nest of crumpled papers and cans. Your trash brethren surround you and you you and your new garbage family have so much in common. Right now, Sarava feels Sarava's home feels nice and insulating, both from the heat of the outside and the chaos of Alternian life. Even Marsty seems a bit relaxed. Her head leans back on the couch, her eyes closed. You just watch her breathe for a while, suddenly relieved and grateful that she's alive. You're high enough that the sentiment doesn't seem totally weird. So, what's your story? Hmm? Me? Yeah. You came all this way just to help somebody? Not somebody. A gold blood. Named Follicle. Fo I thought his name was Folkel. No, I was saying Folyulk. Follicle. That makes more sense. She had void rot. 
They're probably shipping her out to be a heat sink for some carrier ship supercomputer. I want to know what happened to her. Thought that if I was lucky enough to get a chance to help someone for once, I should take it. So here I am. Damn. Sorry, I can't help. The rest of the data was locked down pretty tight. Best I can do is try to ask the rebels to get you a ride out of here. It's fine. I'm just lucky not to be dead. Did you, like, know her super well or something? Not really. Then what the hell are you doing, Lamel? You're risking your own hide, after all. Just worked out that way. Might as well try, now that I'm a fugitive. Shit, there's the guilt. Mercifully numb by your light-headedness. What were you up to? Oh. Before you were a fugitive. Attack pilot. I was due for the front lines by next sweep. The dogfighter. Shit. I would have run too, Lamel. I didn't run. I never even thought of running. Running would just mean that some other rust blood would have to fly my ship. Trava passes you the pen again. If you take a couple more deep breaths that pull you farther and farther away from the emotional and medi- In medicy? Immediacy of the conversation. The sadness is distant, like the f like from an old memory. You could now though, right? Your friend was telling me about how they can get us out of here. You got a take on that? Marcy looks at you. Your vi- your good vibrations curdle a little under her focus. You never really understood her. You've never really understood her at all. You know who we kill out there, right? Aliens like you. Millions of them. For every dead rust blood, there's probably a hundred people that did nothing wrong besides exist in the Empire's way. Have you ever thought about that? I want to know when Homestuck takes place. Homestuck is after. Because, like, they're the last trolls, right? The, the Homestuck cast are like the last trolls or something. I want to know where they are. What? No, weirdly. Wow, that's really, really sad. I don't fight the Empire. Somebody else flies my ship. Sounds like the worst of both worlds. All the best. That shit's gonna happen either way. At least in this plan, you're not fucking dead, Lamel. Maybe. Sounds like that's not enough for you, though. I'm... <sighs> losing my train of thought. I warned you, Lamel. Why this? Why any of it? You mean the streaming? Yeah. I never understood the internet. You sound like 500 sweeps old. Marcy shrugs. Her questions sit in the air unanswered. I don't know. Something kind of magic about how even when everything in the world seems so broken. <laughs> this is becoming a quote from I'm 14 and this is deep. No. You can just log on and find some guy out there making the coolest shit you've ever seen in your life. It's Iron 14 and this is deep! <laughs> I want to be a part of the few good things this world has to offer. <laughs> is that so wrong? Liking something doesn't mean it helps anybody. I know. But if we don't have things we like, what's the point? <laughs> Either I'm high or you're suddenly very persuasive. Why can't it be both? Hmm... Master manipulator, Sarama Hermon. <laughs> you. You should really let me clean in here. That was weirdly seductive. That was weirdly seductive. Like look at the look at her face. That was weirdly seductive. Huh? Huh? <laughs> no, I don't need you to like clean up after me. That feels kind of icky to me, Castways. 
shut up. Don't make it weird. Castaways. Kind of sounds like castaways. Island. Trash. Left behind like snake skin. This is all really important to you suddenly. Though the details of your epiphany are a little hazy. <laughs> Marcy stands up and finds, with some difficulty, some cleaning implements. And goes to the desk, starts inspecting the RGB keyboard. Whoa, careful with Casper. He's he... delicate. Relax. I won't break it. I know what a computer is. She, she overturns it and... Like a little avalanche, <laughs> and a little avalanche of tidy crumbs and dust comes rattling out. She <laughs> a startling giggle erupts from her throat while she starts picking up with a litter off, picking up, picking up the litter off the desk and sweeping the surface. Okay, this is getting weird. Lol. You guys can have the couch for tonight. I'll sleep in the closet. Yell if you need me. Why not just... You yell, if you need me, at an, a volume unknown to you, determined by your intoxicated mind. Marcy snores and Sarama disappears into the room's second door, leaving the, the two of you alone. You climb yourself onto the couch and bundle in for the day. Marcy stays awake, collecting your trash brothers into a bin. She wipes down the walls and desks desks and takes apart electronics and displays to blow away the dust. You rustling, the rustling of clutter and sweeping the floors and soothing. Before long, you fall deeply asleep to the sound of her reassembling keycaps on Casper's glyph board. Holy shit! Okay, wait, there's chitter. L word? Marvis! Marvis, I love you. Oh, fuck you. Oh, no! Zebra and Elward, oh, no! Uh, sometime later, you wake up to a clean bunker. You have just enough time to take in how renewed the place feels before Sarava sets down a fresh MRE on a milk crate for in front of you. Freshly rehe reheated, anyways. Anyway, oh, uh. Evening, little dude. About time you woke up, Mel. You thank Sarava for the food and start digging in. What time is it? You can't tell underground with no windows. Just about evening now. Got in touch with the rebels yesterday, too. It'll be tough, but they think they can swing an escape mission our way in, like, half a perigee. Perigee is a day. Half a perigee. No, wait, a perigee is like a... No, sweeps are years. Perigee is like a week? A month. Half a month. A couple weeks. Uh, you should probably have a clearer idea of what that means. By now, it sounds like a long time. Across the room, Marcy is helping herself to her own cup of noodle. Uh, Sarava craps open an energy drink and gets good heads, a good head start on it before she finishes her mouthful and speaks. I've thought about it, and I've made up my mind. I'm going to that tower. Sarava sputters comically, but manages not to get energy drink all over the newly cleaned floor. You also nearly choke on some rehydrated carrot-like mash. Okay, I've been meaning to ask. Are you guys actually out of your minds? Me? Probably. She? Uh, probably as well. You know who runs that place, right? Some yes. stuck-up high blood who'd murder me without a second thought? It's all the same with the Empire. Not just any stuck-up high blood. Arda Takamiya. She got hired to take over about the same time I moved in. Ardata? You know Ardata. She was, like, the first person I met. At saying so, 
Marcy and Sarabo both look at you with expressions bordered fear, or at the very least severe concern. Sarabo composes themselves in a moment, adjusting their stylish eye patch. You really get around, huh? Yes, I've met so many people. How'd you end up meeting someone like her, anyway? You relate the story of becoming trapped in a murder dungeon for a while. Okay, trapped in a murder dungeon. Sounds bad, you're aware. And it was. You're not necessarily trying to say the two of you were best friends, even if she was attempting friendship at her highest capacity. Which is a little sad now that you think about it. But you still think you could use this to your advantage. She knows you. She maybe even likes you. So it's possible you could talk her down, distract her while Marsty is in there doing whatever she's planning. What is she planning? You said the rest of the data was too encrypted. But if I can get in and find a terminal with clearance, that's not a problem. I can find out where Follicle is and if she needs help. Right! So you can prove a bit back up, if worse comes to worse. Can't believe you're actually encouraging her, Lamel. But I know her. This is the worst plan I've heard in my life. Bruh, I know her. It's gonna be fine. <laughs> saying you won't help? No, I'll help. I'm just saying it's dangerous. It can't only be a signal tower. Not with the amount of people they take in versus the people that come out. Part of my being down here is to know as much about her operations as possible. And while there's a lot I don't know, what I have seen, I don't want to see more of it. If you get what I'm saying. I get you. But I also don't care. What you do is your own decision. I'm going. The alien can stay with you and wait for the rebels. And you can yeah. forget I was ever here and go back to your live streams. Oh yeah, they don't know my name. My name is MSPR Reader. <laughs> M MSPA Reader. MSPR. Oh no, that's the roleplay. MSPRP. MSPRP! Is that still an active site? I'm just curious. MSPRP. Oh, was it Microsoft? Oh no, it's MSPARP. I'm stupid. MSPARP. Wait, is this the shy? Oh my god! <laughs> no, this is just mixed role play. God dang it! There was a specific website. the fuck did I stumble upon? So, MSPARP is now MixRP, MXRP. Is that, that's what I'm getting. Yeah.
my god. Just remembering MSPARP is sending me into spiraling depression. And they're looking at me so fucking disapprovingly. Valid. Sounds kind of like you're judging me again. I'm not. Honest. This is just something I have to do. You stand up off the couch. No way you're letting her go in there alone. She can count on you. And Sarava, she could count on you too. Right? After all, this is exactly what the rebellion is for. Helping trolls in need. It's the perfect opportunity to do some good. To prove that the rebellion can do some good. Sarava sits there for a long moment. Their hands buried in their pockets. Finally, a long size sigh leaves their husk, their head tilted back against the chair. <sighs> if this gets me cold, I'm gonna be so pissed. Come on. There is something in my ear and it hurts. They stand and make their way into the same closet they were tired to sleep in. You and Marcy follow. Sarava leads you into a small room connected to the rest of the bunker. It's dark and cramped, most of the floor space eaten up by some sort of utility machinery that looks like it would be really, really complicated to draw. Okay, so here it is. <laughs> I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. I get why they said that. <laughs> Hope you got your tickets to the gun show. Guns. That's very original, the gun show. You're trying to decide if that's funny when it's actual guns! Why are they so aesthetic? Come on, you expect the rebellion to set me up here totally unarmed? It's not enough to take on the whole empire, but it's enough to make myself a little bit of a nuisance if they finally do track me down. I said, why are they colorful? That <laughs> That's not what you asked, but okay, you take a good look at the available arms. You're giving us weapons. Don't get me wrong, this probably won't help you to, like, survive. But if shit goes bad in there, maybe at least you can do some damage, you know? If I'm unarmed, there's a chance I'll just be arrested. With these, I'll be killed for sure. If it's Auditor, then that's seriously preferable. Trust me, Lamel. I'm not disagreeing. I'll take the shotgun. Should be possible to hide it under my jacket. As for the alien, do you have anything with absolutely no kick? Marcy looks at you when you react with a puzzled, mildly offended expression. Scrawny arms, remember? Shit, you're right, I do have stick arms. Oh yeah, laser pistol. Sarava hands you a modest, technicolor gun with an organic shape along the underside of the barrel. It's about as heavy as a juice bottle and resembles a lot of a strange Alternian biotech you've seen along your adventures. Careful with that thing. It gets hot. Ow! You can rig it to explode if you misalign the capacitor, so, like, make sure not to do that on accident. No. Okay, now why are you giving it to me? It's dawning on you that you're pro actually going to be carrying a weapon. And you're supposed to fire this thing? At a person? You're not sure you're cut out for it. I'd actually prefer if you didn't. Ideally, I can get in and out without them noticing. I just want you to have the option in a complete emergency. Exactly how are you planning to do that? Say I'm here for repairs. Or sneak in through a side entrance. Nobody cares about one rust blood on their own, as long as you keep your head down. Sarava shakes their head. No way. This isn't like the rest of the station. They have cameras everywhere. And no burgundy is gonna get in except for... Hmm. Wait. I might have an idea, actually. 
Now that you're armed and dangerous, or in your case, armed and shaking like a small dog, uh, you're starting to wonder if this is really a good idea. <laughs> To give me a gun, that is. Saraba warned you that Marsty might not be in her best state of, of mind. Maybe you shouldn't have been so quick to support such a dangerous plan. While you're thinking it over, Saraba sits down at their desk and types a few messages into the program into a program you don't recognize. Moments later, they get a reply. This goes back and forth for a while. Long enough that Marsty leans in herself, leans herself against the wall to wait. In about half an hour, something prints out of one of the machines tucked under Sarava's desk. They take it out, turn around, and hand it to her. Okay, I got you this. Welcome to the 23rd Core Processor Unit. Got a little supply cart in the closet you can hide the alien in. This should be enough to get you in the front doors. No promises about anything after. You're not endangering yourself, are you? Or your friends, the rebellion, whoever got this for me. These are dangerous times. We're risking our lives just by existing. But even you walked in here and put me and my operation to shame, you know? Pointed out how I'm just waiting down here for the end. Shit. Without even getting a chance to pay the Empire back for what they've done. So, this is, like, literally the least I could do. That's not true at all. I'm willing to do this alone. Yeah, and it wouldn't have worked. I'm still 100% convinced you're dying there, Lamel. But I can't just let you go in with nothing. So take the ID already. Marcy concedes, clipping the ID card to the front of her coat. There's a sense of finality to it that makes you realize this is all definitely happening. For everyone's sake, you hope our daughter remembers you as fondly as possible. <laughs> you hope your own memories of her aren't too warped by Doc Scratch's narratively induced friend lust to be useful. You hope you'll know what to say to her when, it when that time comes. If the time comes. You're doing a lot of hoping in summation. But you have to. If Marcy is not willing to turn back, then how c then how can you? It's for follicle sake, too. In a way, this is your own chance of redemption. If I'm going to do this, I should probably go as soon as possible. Is there any way to get closer to the base? Yeah, sure. Follow me again. Why are you taking us now? Sarava leads you through a narrow access shaft branching off the utility closet. The little supply card in tow. For now, it carries the weapon out of sight. You, Sarava, and Marcy have to press to the wall in a line to make your way down the corridor. Alongside that, alongside what you guess are water pipes or slime pipes, whatever. Um, maybe? You know Alternians love the good, good gelatinous line. Okay. Hold that thought. Who the fuck typed? Never mind. I can't wait to see Malik again. Soon you emerge at what you guess is a back door, heavily barricaded. Sarava takes a moment to unlock and remove the bars and boards, and push them open against a mound of shifting sands. Soon, multicolored moonlight washes in from above, right over their shoulders. Oh. Okay, this is it. As far as I go. Thanks. And goodbye, I guess. If I don't see you. So long, morbid weirdo. And you. Come here. Ah! Sarava holds out their arms. Oh, you get it? Without hesitation, you bring yourself in for a surprisingly tight hug from such a guarded, on-brand individual. Sarava pats your shoulder a couple times. You even adjust your hood for you. I don't want to distract you. 
and I know I can't talk you out of it, but, like, you're one of the few people I know that I think are genuinely really chill, so it was nice to see you again. Please survive, or I'm gonna be, like, really depressed, Lamel. Me, earlier this year. Oh, shit. Well, no way you're gonna die now. You can't let him down, too. They're all by Marcy's. Farewell is a little cooler. Just a firm handshake. Still, you're proud of the two for them. Uh, you're proud of the two of them for coming this far. Not just in friendship, but in general. You ready? Not exactly. But you tell her you're the next best thing to ready. You're morally obliged. All right. Let's go. The stars shine down as the two of you approach the main entrance. You have a narrow visual hidden. You have a narrow visual hidden inside the cart. You're lucky this place is approachable by foot from any of the bases of the satellites. And you don't know how you'd explain for getting here without a transport otherwise. Even with that advantage and the ID badge clipped to your jacket, you're hey, nervous. If something goes wrong, I want you to run. Around the perimeter of the building. They'll get a shot if you try to make it for the dunes, okay? Before you can reply, the wheels of your little Heidi chart make the transition from sand to shiny surface of the Imperial walkway. This is really happening. You slip a hand into the pocket of your hoodie, too nervous to even grip the handle of the laser pistol tucked within it. You're close to the door now. There's some shuffling, and you can't tell what's happening. Marsty's voice comes from above, out of view. Ruticia Lefford, core processor. Scheduled cleanup. Your heart nearly stops in your chest while you wait. There's a few moments of perilous silence before absolutely nothing happens. The guard lets you advance, and you and Marcy head into the base. This is it. You made it in. And that is where I'm going to end it for today, because holy shit, it has almost been two hours. I'm saving it right there. Oh shit. Please tell me. No, wait, where's the autosaves? Where's the autosaves? I can't get to the autosaves? What do you mean I can't get to the autosaves? Did, did they get rid of the autosaves? You son of a bitch. Damn it. Okay. I'm ending it here. Ah. If you've enjoyed, do all the funny things. Do all funny things. Tomorrow, just do funny things. Anyways. Goodbye.
That's what I was thinking of. Wait, 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 listen. Bush babies, is that actually a thing? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, you fucking, you, you're pulling my I'm little not, tiny uh, British willy. I'm you not. are. You're a little British fucking deformed <laughs> guy. My little 